birthday, 730 in our series, two to five, 730. That's like, that's like two years, right? Like two years to the day. How about that? It's a long time, man. Anyway, working on the uh, montage for this morning. Um, somebody's up, apparently. Um, yeah, I got done with with the at least a section that I wanted to get done with. Um, I didn't get done with the entire montage. There's still where is there? Uh, there's still several more sections for this montage, which is actually good because um, you know I'm not sure how much I'll be able to squeeze out of this first little sequence. Um, and actually, since there's more shots after this, I may just sort of intersperse this first section throughout. Um, you know, you got some things to, to move around. I think I ended up with one, two, three, four, four or five different clips that I can use. I mean, really short sections, but um, parts that I, I think would look decent um, with, some, with some good Christmas music underneath them. And then the... Uh, the rest of them, I'm pretty sure those are those are all okay. Uh, like I said, I don't have to worry about sound, which is awesome. Um, I just have to. Um, I think the biggest issue with this one was it was just it was kind of shaky because a lot of the uh, little um, apparatuses, I guess, little if we were inside this um, uh, this place called Wack, Wacky Jump, something like that. Anyway, they had like little bounce houses and stuff in there, and uh, you know when people would jump, the camera would move just a little bit, and uh, you know if that's in the middle of a clip, it kind of screws things up. It's really really hard um, to get that out. There's some stabilization features that uh, come with with Final Cut, but they don't they don't really work very well. And I had the stabilization on the camera. But again, when there's a sudden you know movement like that, it just it doesn't it doesn't do well. So again, a yet another lesson learned when it comes to uh, doing these things. Uh, I need to write these things down. It's just it's tough when you're on set because you've got you know a, a million different things that are running through your head. You know you're worried about performances, you're worried about the sound, you're worried about you know camera placement, shot composition. Um, all these different things, uh, even some of these clips again, um, I had to cut around um, yeah, extras looking at the camera and uh, almost almost ruined this take, but I was they luckily looked away right at the last second uh, where I needed um, to kind of cut. So it worked out okay on this one. But so many, like I said, so many things running through your head that it's really, really challenging to remember it all and to hopefully you know, just become so ingrained as I go through this process that when I'm on set next time, it's just more natural and more things, you know, kind of come to mind of like this mental checklist you have to go through to make sure that everything's good and you're not going to run into problems in, on the editing side. So anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me and I will see you guys tomorrow.